Welcome to this Sealox presentation. In this video, we will show you how to install Hydro Halt Plumbud during installation of a new shower tray or bath. Plumbud has three key components the Hydro Halt strip, a backer rod, and a silicone sealant. The Hydro Halt strip is supplied with the backer rod attached. The silicone sealant we recommend for use with Plumbud is Sealox N, high performance neutral curing sanitary grade silicone or equivalent. Before installation commences, the shower tray surfaces to which the sealant will be bonded must be prepared. Use wire wool to roughen surfaces and remove stubborn dirt. After a clean with the alcohol wipes, you are now ready to install Plumbud. Plumbud is designed to be installed in a clockwise rotation. Unwind Plumbud along the first side of the shower tray. The two-sided alignment guide ensures Plumbud can be positioned accurately on the shower tray sidewall. Place side one of the alignment guide on the ledge, overhanging the sidewall. Firstly, raise Plumbud up until the backer rod touches the alignment guide and then press the backer rod inward to bond to sidewall. Progressively slide the alignment guide along the ledge, repeating this bonding process until the first sidewall is complete. To ensure Plumbud maintains a 90 degree angle around sidewall corners, Rotate and reposition the alignment guide to overhang two sidewalls. Once Plumbud has been folded around the corner and bonded onto both sidewalls, return the alignment guide to its original orientation and bond Plumbud to the next sidewall. Prior to locating the shower tray in its final position, ensure the wall surfaces behind Plumbud are free of dust and in sound condition. The shower tray should rest stable on the floor and the waste pipe tested for leaks. Fold the strip back and peel off the release liner to expose the adhesive bed. Using the spatula straight edge, firstly press bond the adhesive bed into wall corners to form a 90 degree angle. Then press bond the adhesive bed to the shower walls. Draw wall lines defining the strip outer boundaries. Fold back the strip and tape it to the shower tray with masking tape tabs. We recommend the use of an adhesive sealant to bond the plumbud strip to the wall. Apply a 5mm diameter zigzag line of adhesive sealant at 100mm centres on the wall between the plumbud strip and wall lines. Spread the adhesive sealant on the wall using the serrated edge of the spatula. Remove the strip holding tabs and lift the strip upright to engage the wall adhesive. Using the straight edge of the spatula, firstly press bond the strip into each corner to form a 90 degree angle and then against the remaining wall surfaces to form a permanent bond. Apply masking tape over the ledge to protect against sealant smears while sealing the joint. Apply Sealux N into the joint formed between the plumbud strip and the shower tray sidewall. Installers may prefer to seal and rub up one side at a time. Rub up the joint sealant so its upper surface falls from the strip side to the ledge side. Remove the masking tape off the ledge. The plumbud installation is now complete. Remember, these are just general guidelines that reflect typical site conditions. Joint expansion between the ledge and wall is a frequent cause of leaks. Joint expansion creates tension in the sealing material, which often results in adhesion failure. For this reason, the plumbud strip is designed to bond tenaciously with Sealux N silicone. After the installation of Plumbud, tiling can commence. We recommend the insertion of a sealant backer rod into the joint formed between the tile and adjacent ledge. This sealant backer rod will shutter and shape the sealant cross section, enabling it to stretch and accommodate joint expansion. The sealant joint between the tile and ledge should not be considered a permanent joint seal because it is exposed to the climate and chemicals of the showering environment and will deteriorate over time. The rate of sealant deterioration will be further accelerated if also subjected to the stress of elongation under effects of joint expansion. 
Now, let's take a reality check inside the joint and evaluate how Plumbud reacts under joint expansion. As you can see, the exposed sealant bridge between the tile and ledge releases off the backer rod and stretches under tension. Plumbud accommodates joint expansion through elongation and deflection in the hydro hall strip at its point of contact with the sealant and shear elongation of the sealant bridge between the strip and shower tray sidewall. When the sealant joint between the tile and ledge fails, Plumbud ensures the resulting leak is contained inside the shower area. We hope this presentation has been of interest and thank you for your time viewing it. If you have any concerns not addressed in this video, please do not hesitate to contact us.